How you doing folks? Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit today on how to quiet down a recurve. This is the way I would do it and I'll, I'll tell you some things how I used to do it. Uh, the first thing always before I tune I always add whatever silencers I'm going to put in. These are uh, wool yarn puffs that I made. Uh, they're very dense. Uh, put them on top and bottom limb and you can adjust these things up or down to to kind of control your speed, and I learned that from somebody else. So that's not even my idea. Never would even thought about it. But uh, uh, I'll put that on. Uh, air, you know, wool it absorbs a lot of a lot of your bow's vibration, uh, especially when you release uh, a rubber rubber strap uh, bow quiver. Is another good dampener for your recurve uh, that helps you know take away sound uh, and I use when I tune I didn't tune this bow with this quiver on so I surprisingly it shot barely really well so uh, another way is a lot of people what I used to do is put velcro on the back where the string groove was because uh, I'm saving up for a custom Bob Lee and I've looked at some of their videos on how to set it up, you know, you know, basic stuff. Uh, they don't recommend the Velcro on the back of their limbs uh, because, you know, the guy doing the video made a good point. You know, that's why the string grooves are there to keep your string straight on the limb. Um, so I took mine off and and it's still my bow still barely really quiet so uh i'm shooting an older bear grizzly it's a 1971-72 really quiet bow um, and another thing that would help silence your bow is a clean release that's going you can you know a clean release is always going to help you with vibration unnecessary sounds from your string harmonics uh, when especially when you're trying to pluck away instead of come off straight you know i could catch myself plucking so if i hear any abnormal noises it's not my bow set up or my arrow set up it's mainly you know me plucking so you know release is very important very clean release is very important to how quiet your bow is you can add all the dampeners uh, and all that and if you're still plucking it's not going to be as quiet as it would if you had a cleaner release uh, another one is the arrow setup I mean if you're running real light of an arrow say eight seven eight grains per pound um, then it's going to be naturally louder so the heavier the arrow I, I, I'm right around 10 grains per pound on my arrow setup and it seems to do pretty good it takes absorbs a lot of the energy from this bow this bow is uh, 45 pounds at 28 inches i'm 27 so it's right around 43 pounds for me 42 and a half it might pull these older bows seem to pull a little bit heavier than what they list but you know with the old bears you can look behind your strike plate and that's their actual weight when they put it on the draw scale uh, after everything's said and done they etch it on in there uh, but you know it's some manufacturers you know they recommend you know getting up close to that 10 grain per pound and it just depends on what you want to do i can't stand you know to shoot and have to hear a, a lot of noise so uh you know and I seen a post on Facebook where, you know, a guy was trying to figure out how to quiet, you know, quieten his bow down. And he done everything. And when I watched the video, he was actually plucking, pulling away from his face. And that was causing the bow to be a lot louder. Uh, string material could be uh, another, because some fast lights on a recurve is going to be a little bit louder. Uh, even with the dampening stuff on with the wool silencers, beaver, beaver silencers or whatnot. But uh, I've been always been pretty good setting my bows up for hunting. So, you know, when I go, you know, to a 3D shoot and all that, my bow's already set up ready to hunt. So it's 
quiet as I can get it, you know, within reason. And uh, I hope these tips help and, uh, you know, maybe throw in the comments on how you quieten your bows down and, you know, you know, the feedback would be, you know, pretty good and just everybody do, does it a different way. I mean, there's not one set way on how to quiet the bow down. And, and that's the, the thing about traditional archery. So it's not kind of straight across the board. Somebody else may have a better idea than what I got, but I've been running wool silencers for a good little while. So, uh, I hope these tips help, and uh, I hope y'all have a great day, and God bless. Oh yeah, about forgot, I'll just let you listen to my bow. I'm going to stand right here as close as I can to the phone. I'll shoot a short target. That's probably about 10 yards. The next one on that, I'll shoot is about 17. So I'm going to dump these four arrows and let you decide on how quiet my bow is. All right, that was two at 10. We'll try the two at 17. I think I missed my, where I was supposed to be shooting at. So I ain't really worried about hitting center, but that's how, that's what my bow sounds like, pretty close to the phone, so. I mean, so I hope these, I hope these tips help you and have a great day and God bless.